Whenever you divide a radical by another radical, you have to deal with mixed indexes. If you have a division with mixed indexes, first you have to get a common index. Your hint is factor any numbers first. And you may have to rationalize the denominator and remember rationalizing the denom denominator means you cannot be under a radical and under a fraction. And if that doesn't make sense, basically, you can't have a radical in the denominator. So, let's work some examples out. In example one, we have something to an index of two over something with an index of three. The common index would be six, so we have to build this one up by three and this one up by two. Let's make this whole example one just a little bit bigger so we can see it better. There, that's much easier to see. So we have the, x, the index of six in the numerator and an index of six in the denominator now. But remember, we must also multiply that same value that we built up the index by on the exponents. and in the denominator we'll have a to the second, b to the fourth. From here we can then rewrite the fraction that we have under one index. And so now we'll have a to the third, b to the ninth over a to the second, b to the fourth. And now it makes it much easier to reduce out the common factors a to the second and a to the third will reduce and we'll be left with a in the numerator and b to the fourth will reduce with b to the ninth and we'll be left with b to the fifth in the numerator. Let's go ahead and rewrite it now that we've reduced. a times b to the fifth. We didn't have to rationalize anything because nothing was left in the denominator. In example two, we have an index of four and an index of six. The common index would have to be 12. I'm going to build up my index by three in the numerator and my index by two in the denominator. Once I've done that, I'll have a matching index in the numerator and in the denominator. Whatever I multiply the index by, I must also multiply the exponents by the same thing. So I'll have two to the third, x to the ninth, y to the sixth, over 32 we know is two to the fifth, and y to the fourth, so I'll have to multiply two to the fifth by two in the index or sorry, the exponent, and y to the fourth by two. From here, I can rewrite each piece. Two to the third, x to the ninth, y to the sixth, all over the twelfth root of two to the tenth, y to the eighth. So now let's go ahead and put it all over one radical. We'll have one radical, one index, and the fraction will be inside now that the indexes match. So we have two to the third, x to the ninth, y to the sixth, over two to the tenth, x, no x, y, 
the eighth. Now let's reduce out the common factors. Two to the third will reduce with two to the tenth, and I'll be left with two to the seventh in the denominator. X doesn't reduce with anything, but the Y's reduce, and I'm left with Y to the second in the denominator. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. I now have the twelfth root of X to the ninth all over two to the seventh y to the second. Unfortunately, I have a radical issue in the denominator, so I have to rationalize the denominator. I'm going to build up the denominator so that I can get rid of any radicals down there. I know that whatever I do, I have to multiply by something that's the twelfth root. To make two be to the twelfth in the exponent, I'll have to multiply two to the seventh by two to the fifth. And y to the second will need to be multiplied by y to the tenth to build that exponent up to y to the twelfth. This is so all the, the pieces in my denominator are rationalized and I don't have any radicals or fractional exponents in the denominator. As we've said before, whatever I do to the denominator, I also need to multiply to the numerator so that it's like multiplying by a funny looking one. So now I have the twelfth root of x to the ninth times two to the fifth times y to the tenth all over two to the twelfth y to the twelfth. I'm going to break up the numerator and the denominator into two pieces, so I get two to the fifth, which is thirty-two, x to the ninth, y to the tenth, all over two y.